How has it been to go on tour with the cordless kites? <laughs> Hi guys, it's Tom King here, <laughs> reporting from cordless kites tour van. Just going to take it over to some other members of the band. <laughs> so vain. No. Vain. I've got to maintain my look. You're so vain. You probably think this video is about you. <laughs> How has it been going on tour with the cordless kites? Really exciting. Yeah. Very unusual, very interesting experience. What was the weirdest thing that happened to you? The weirdest thing that happened to me, uh, I can't really think of it right now. But, oh. uh, Guillaume. Yes. Why should people give money to the cordless kites? Because we need drinking. We need serious <laughs> drinking. But we have nothing to drink at the moment except for this medium sparkling water. Do you think that all of the kites need to drink as much as each other, necessarily? <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not? Who would you say needs to drink the least? And maybe eat some more food? <laughs> Tom Morley. Tom Morley, yeah. He is a notorious booze hound. And with that, over to Morley. What's your favourite chord that the cordless kites play? Uh, I want to Oh, I know. I know mine. E flat major. Uh, what I love about the band is that we all play all instruments yes, pretty much. And even we do. if we don't, we just make it somehow sound nice. What? What question would you like to be asked? <laughs> I'd like to be asked what it means to be one of the cordless kites. Okay. Each of us is a cordless kite, and that's not limited to the band. Other musicians who come and join us, change the sound, contribute their ideas, and we have this whole network. We have a community of kites. And it's a very international community. It's a very international community of kites, and by doing a crowdfunding campaign, it almost feels like a way to include people in what we're doing. Can you tell me what kind of album we're planning to record? A good one. We're about the family of the kites, and so we'll record most of the things live in one session. And that will involve a bit of experimentation and a bit of um, making sure that the mood is right for the recording and the atmosphere. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it'll be a unified sound where everybody decides to play the right notes at the right time in the right way. It's always a good thing, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now, uh, it might be a little bit more electric than they've come to with the music. Yeah. Sort of a garage synth type vibe. It'll be positively dutty. Form, we can share our music, but you can actually be part of something. You can be part of making an album. Oh. <laughs> 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 it's like a Do you think it's necessary for people to pay us money to, to be part of this album? No, but it'd be absolutely lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I think it'd be nice if people actually kind of, you know, kind of contribute to that, like bearing witness almost to the whole idea of making the album. And it's a dream of ours and it's wonderful to be part of a dream and we are making you part of the dream of our dream. <laughs>